Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Code to Care video series. Uh, today, uh, I'm kind of excited because I figured out a way to properly explain agentic AI and a nice diagram to sort of lay out the way all the data flows with a regular agentic AI system. So I'm excited to give it a try on you guys and see if it, uh, it helps you understand uh, the world's latest buzzword. Um, so, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to talk you through the use case that I've been working on, one of my side projects, around automatically fixing bugs. And this is using Gen AI, but using an agentic way to do it. Okay? So, but they all, all these agentic models kind of look the same way. So you have some kind of application. First of all, this box is your world. And then you have like an LLM over here like uh, OpenAI or Anthropics Claude or Gemini from Google or whatever. Uh, but in your world, you have your app. And in automatic bug fixing, this might be uh, a workflow with a list of bugs that you want to fix or something with service tickets or something uh, like that. So you have some kind of app. Uh, and then that app wants to invoke the agentic system to fix a bug, let's say, or to schedule an appointment for a patient or to do uh, get a pre-auth started or to do something where you want this agentic flow. So here you have your agentic AI framework and I can describe kind of how those work but um, you can build it yourself or there's some frameworks but this kind of orchestrates this whole workflow. Uh, and then what you do um, is uh, you do a prompt over to the large language model. I'll stand over here now. Uh, and the prompt would be something like, I want you to fix this bug. And then in, in the prompt, you'll describe the bug. Uh, and you will give it a list of tools that the um, large language model can draw upon to fix the bug. Okay, so it's a list of tools, and I'll describe what they would look like in this case, along with how you might invoke the tools, like what arguments uh, you might send to the tools, that sort, of, uh, that sort of thing. Okay, so in your system, you have this initial prompt, which you send to the LLM, and it contains your instructions and a list of tools. Okay, and the tools um, that uh, I'm using in this case to fix uh, automatically fix bugs are to list out files in a directory, to uh, read a file, and by file, these would be programs, let's say a bunch of Python programs. So you have a directory, you have a bug in this bunch of files, uh, and you provide these tools. List the files, read a file, uh, create a new file. So you might create a test case, or you might need a new file to fix it. Uh, edit a file. Edit. Edit file might have uh, search and replace, like search this text and replace it with that text. Um, the last, second to last tool is something called Bash. And this runs like a Python program or something like that on your computer. So it allows the LLM to run the code. Um, and then the last tool is just something called Done. Um, and you're asking the LLM. When you think you've got a final fix, just call the done tool with the fix. Okay, so now what happens is the LLM, and you tell the LLM, respond with one of the tools that you'd like to call. So the LLM will respond saying, I want to list the files in the directory, something like that. Um, and then what your Agentic AI framework does is it calls the tool that the LLM asks for. It gets a response back from the tool, and then it sends that response back to the LLM. And this loop just keeps continuing. Then the LLM will say, it'll read the files and say, okay, uh, let me read this file. So this is just a continuous loop, and it calls the, it tells your framework to call the next tool. I want you to read this file, and here's the file name. Uh, and then this agentic um, framework will call that tool that reads the file and sends the file contacts back, and you send it back to the LLM. And that is actually it. What's going to happen then is the LLM 
will go through, in, in this particular use case, about 100 calls, listing files, reading files, uh, creating test cases, uh, editing the file to try and fix the bug, running the test by using this bash tool to call the Python program, that sort of thing. It'll keep iterating, uh, and it keeps iterating by saying, call this next tool, and then your little framework is calling these tools, returning the response, and that just happens like 100 times, and then it finally says, I think I have a fix. Here it is, and it calls the done tool. And then, of course, once that's done, then you go back to your app and deliver that patch. So it's an interesting approach. Essentially, you, would, you just have one initial prompt that has the instructions and the tool list. And then the rest of the process is the LLM continually saying, call this next tool in this manner, and your framework calls the tool and then returns the response back to the LLM. And this cycle just continues uh, over the course of time until the, the whole process is done. So believe it or not, that's the way um, the agentic flow works. And it's actually a different way um, to solve a problem. So instead of you as the developer thinking through, here are all the steps, like I'm the brain, here are all the steps that uh, we need to take to automatically fix a bug, um, you're basically relying on the LLM to generate that list of steps. You just need to provide the prompt and provide the list of tools. Okay. Now this is an approach that doesn't work for everything yet, but as LLMs get stronger, get smarter, um, plan better, uh, make better decisions around how to approach a problem, then uh, it's actually a very, it's actually a simpler way to solve a problem, actually, because you're now relying on the LLM to do some of the, the approach work, and this can make it more flexible also, uh, given what it's finding as it goes through the process. So, um, so that was my latest attempt to explain Agentic AI and how the flow works. I hope that was helpful. Uh, to all of you, and uh, until next time, bye-bye.